holy shit. I gotta record this before this gets taken down. This is going to get taken down. Uh, but pretty much, somebody finally cuts into Sankir, who's running for president, then just kind of calls him on his kind of pro, uh, I'm not going to even say, you know, his anti-Israel rhetoric. He finally gets a taste of reality, in my opinion. Uh, and this shit gets pretty wild. This is the wildest I've ever seen on Young Turks, and this is going to get taken down. So Israel goes in, and, and right now, by the way, the ground troops, as I said from day one, have been more effective. And a lot of people were against the ground troops. But I said, look, special forces is necessary. That's how you... By the way, before we get into this, I unsubbed to the Young Turks because of Sank's views over this whole subject matter. They lost my sub over that. So I'm just going to throw that out there before this continues. Fight back against people who are trying to kill you. But if you say, hey, I'm just going to bomb, like the reason why I say not one more bomb is because bombing doesn't work. What it, and bombing Iraq created ISIS. It didn't end ISIS, it created ISIS. Yeah. So the more we bomb the Palestinians, the bigger Hamas is going to get. In this day and age, the Viet Cong didn't raise their hand and say, we give up. But neither did none of these groups say we give up. And Hamas is never, ever, ever going to say we give up. So if that's the standard, that means we're just going to keep butchering Palestinian civilians. But by that exact standard, you're, you're acting as though the bombing was just purely, as you seem to think it is, for revenge or retribution. They were bombing these buildings. And while, again, I'll say it every time, the, the innocent loss of life has been horrific, it was not for no reason. And it was not indiscriminately. It was to get rid of strongholds, buildings that they knew had... Hamas strongholds in them so that when they go in with the ground troops that you yourself were suggesting were a better idea and are a better idea that they aren't a complete suicide mission yeah, for the Israeli the troops. Also, in the immediate aftermath of October 7th, you said, of course, Israel has to respond and is going to bomb. It's just you hope that it's not a hugely disproportional number. You said, I hope it's not 10 to 1. Yo, if I was an Israeli soldier having to go into a terrorist stronghold, I would want as much air support as possible. I would not give a damn about people on the news bitching about it. Like, think about that. Like, Israel has to do right by its soldiers, too. Like, that's what happens when you go to war. Like, for us to point the finger at that, when we wage our own war on terror, and nobody stuck their nose into that. 100 to 1. The numbers have been horrible. They've been 5 to 1 or 6 to 1. That's not good, but it's because we're trying to take out a terrorist force that yeah. also is a government. Yeah. And so I do yeah. not buy the argument that there is ever going to be a, a solution where you just say Hamas gets to win. And right. so I think a much smarter way to approach yeah. trying to get what they you want. They don't get to win, Ben. They don't get to win. So at the end of the day, Sank's way, they do get to win. And that's what Sank's not seeing. Look, at the end of the day, so look, two last things, and then I, you got more of the story. To but tell a smarter us. part, what I'm saying, a smarter part, to, a way to do that is to not demonize people that are responding from this horrible terror attack, but instead say, great, thank you for a four hour every single day during war humanitarian pause and an extra humanitarian corridor. Actually turn the rhetoric towards something that is more inclusive and more positive and say we are moving towards the right direction, not immediately on day one saying that's not real. Maybe it's a tiny bit real, but it's not real. No, it's a major significant change in the conditions on the ground. It's the it's Israel going against what it believes its objectives need to be to listen to the world community, to give opportunities for aid to come in. That's the big source of outcry from all of the groups saying right. civilians are being killed. So let the civilians out. So they're doing that. Extra humanitarian they're not letting anybody out. It's Gaza's no, you know what? They will get a like just for that, but I, I'm not something back to that. They will get a like just for having him and for having him t tell Sank what's really up. Prison. They, they, you can't leave because Gaza. Egypt will not open their that, border. That's to ridiculous. If Egypt were, uh, opens the borders and the Palestinians go to Egypt, Israel is going to close the border and just take Gaza. No way. That's crazy. I, no way. It's no way. Up to Egypt not, to keep that border no, open or not. But certainly no, they're not going to open no, the border Egypt into their is, own country. No. Israel and Egypt have an alliance, and that's why. It, ben, look. So we have massive disagreements. So when. It, at one really? point, they had about eight thousand civilians killed and thirteen Hamas now. members killed. 
No, they weren't trying to bomb Hamas. They were doing indiscriminate bombings. 13 Hamas indiscriminate. members killed. Where are you getting that number? I got it from a news report. We Hamas, reported on it. Hamas does not distinguish in their numbers between Hamas soldiers and civilians. You have no idea how many Hamas soldiers were killed Even in that Even Netanyahu at one point, and he's a grotesque liar, uh, said... Uh, in an ABC report, well, 10,000 were killed, but, you know, a thousand of those could have been Hamas. For the could have been, could have been. And if that's true, if, but you take probably Netanyahu's works, numbers, works. that's still awful. You, if, I, if you said to me, that guy, I've said this a hundred times, hey, that guy killed your family members. There's no way that I don't want to kill that guy. I, I, I'm, I will be filled with rage. And you say there's nine civilians around them, an aunt, an uncle, a grandma, a baby, etc. Would I bomb them and kill those nine civilians cause, to get the bad guy? Never. Never. Because it is deeply immoral. I'm not going to do the same thing a terrorist would do. That's insanity. And, and Israel's saying, yeah, I don't care. I don't care about the ratio. I dropped the bombs. I dropped the bombs. The buildings collapse. The babies' heads are crushed. But they Yay! are not saying that. Defense. That is a lie. That's not defense. That is a That's lie. Offense. But they are not saying that. They are taking mo far more measures in any country that That's I know of to make true. sure the civilians no, leave they, the I, area. they take the least they, amount of measures. They make phone of calls any directly. Country. They drop any out of the sky. They make multiple statements on social media and on television. Well, they paused. Media. They said 24 hours to escape. UN said it's impossible. Escape so said, to what? So they, escape to, to the what? South, it's an open-air prison. To the south. To and the then south, Egypt can they open that border. They, like, they bombed it a little bit to get rid of a also Hamas targets. It's not the main area that the main bombing is happening. And so right. that is the reality of war. You're still not ever suggesting concretely how you suggest that no, I Israel know. lives in peace and oh, possibly can get Can I peace. answer? Please. Sure. It's so easy. Yeah. Okay, special forces to take to take out the Hamas guys who attacked. No problem. I've said it from day one. Try to release the hostages. Find do negotiation. Do a power. Do all the things that you do. Then this is super important. End the goddamn occupation. End there it. Isn't End an it. Yes, negotiate with terrorists. That is a great idea. Give them power to wield through negotiations. Because negotiating with terrorists is known to work out well. Occupation in Gaza. I'll oh, say it ben, to the KF Gaza. Don't be insane, man. There ben. is a security and, 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 and blockade of supplies. There is not an occupation. They voluntarily ended it in 2005 Correct. and removed forcibly the, their own Israeli citizens. Hey. How are Correct. you going to ask people to end an occupation that ended in 2005? And at least let's use words accurately. Because I've seen too many times on this network people saying genocide when it is not one. People yes. saying. By the way, this is where Sank starts to get pissed and he starts to try firing back with the same intensity so this word gets good y'all occupation when it is not one there is an occupation in the west bank i admit it because that's the definition and the words but when the occupation ends you say and the occupation what are you asking for them to end it again exactly. should they go back in and then end it again is that the request ben um yeah. Okay, if I come to your house and say, look, I'm not occupying your house, but I can cut the water and power anytime, right. and I could starve you, and I could make sure you don't even get any water, and if you disagree with me on anything, I could drop a bomb on your head. It's but hey, I'm not occupying. It's called a blockade. I'm not occupying. It's called a blockade. I can just murder you anytime. It, yes, and you have to do that when there's terrorists. Understand war. I'm not, but I'm not occupying. But it's not the word. Okay, it's so the let's call it a prison. So as, if Israel should stop imprisoning Palestinians. Okay, terrorists belong in prison. Uh, okay. And you know the big difference, though, is that when you have prisons, the 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 prison, the people that run the prisons don't offer freedom to all of the people six different times, and they reject it when they get 85 to 97 percent of their requests. I've seen you shake off in interviews your head about saying they've been offered peace. You go like this, you go, no, 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 but they have been offered peace ben, many times. Sh so, so shouldn't they accept that? What is your plan? Why aren't you telling Hamas right now release exactly. the goddamn hostages, exactly. accept peace, make a peace agreement, put on paper, put on. Put your word, your, your your money where your mouth is. Yeah, I see Sink get down on everyone else more than he does Hamas, just from what I've seen and why I unsubbed. And offer a solution. Don't just keep demonizing Israel and not offering a way to solve the goddamn exactly. problem. Because that goes on forever. Exactly. So two things about that, Ben. That's one, nice number one, mission accomplished. Man. Thank you. Hamas, uh, do a ceasefire, never attack Israel, uh, recognize their right to exist, release the hostages. Obviously, obviously. And by, by the way, here, I'll, I'll make, no, hold on. I'll make it even more uh, like concrete. 
Hamas, stop being goddamn idiots. You're destroying the Palestinian cause as well as being immoral. Well, you killed those innocent Israeli civilians, now 10 times as many Palestinians have been killed. Are you happy? Was that mission accomplished? It is profoundly stupid. And it's easy for Hamas leaders to do that as they sit comfortably in Qatar right. and they condemn their own civilians to death. Right. Ben, being against a terrorist is obvious, is right. obvious, okay? but. But having but a plan it, to defeat them okay. is much harder. And that's but the whole Ben, point. you have to stop imprisoning them. What? Are. Look, Ben, if if people come over, let's say they take, uh, they name any place. They take New Jersey, New they New take Texas. Texas, and they say, okay, now you're in an open air prison, and none of you have any goddamn rights, and we get to put our boot on your neck, you and now you go, you are servants. You're, you're, you're subhuman. Now you sit there, Texas, and take it. And if any of you ever fight back, you're all goddamn terrorists in Texas. And what do you think Texas would do? Texas would blow up, those Texas citizens would blow up every goddamn occupier and you know it. Nope. They would murder every occupier and you know it. Great. How much patience can the Palestinians have? They're sitting there in the West Bank doing nothing. They've been yeah, perfectly peaceful. Just and what did they get for the peace, Just man? Peace. What did they get for the peace? Just All peace. they got was occupation. Just 56 years enough. of occupation. They've been offered uh, peace six times. Ass. So when you my keep ass. somebody in a prison, as you say, what do you mean my ass? They have not been? Yes, they were I will not explain. In, I will explain. In, 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 in 37, 48, 67, 2000, 2008, they weren't offered their no. own state, and that they said no, 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 no. So yes, no. if murderers no. and terrorists are going to keep killing you, and you keep saying, Ooh, "Here, I'm giving you, I'm giving you what you want, I'm giving you most of what you want," and you keep saying, "No, no, yeah. no, no, Let's no," nobody on earth, can yourself can included, I, would also it? allow themselves to keep being killed by them. Okay, so number one, 1937. At that point, Israel doesn't even exist. By the way, shout out to third guy on the left here who is just sitting here like, oh shit. This. A bunch of people come over to Palestine and go, now you guys, this is your land, but we're planning to take half of it. So why don't you just give us half? And move, God, move out of your freaking houses. We own that land now. Oh, you didn't take it. Well, what a bunch of bad guys. So is it cool for them to start doing terrorist attacks, Sink? No, dude. Like, no. I was going to no. take your goddamn land, no. and I was going to make you march, and then maybe die. Oh, you didn't take what generous offer that I gave you? 1948, I'm going to take half your land. Give me your land. You you can stay. You get the hell out of here. I'm more important than yeah. you. Oh, you don't own your land anymore. Well, you didn't take... I was surprised they offered him that. I wouldn't offer terrorists anything. Just me, just IMO. Get... Why didn't you take it? What a lovely deal I gave you, where I only steal half your land. Okay, now you move to later rounds, then it gets more complicated. Because then they come back in and they go, I'll give you 87% of your house back. But I had 100% of my house. And by the way, you're not even giving me the 50% you already took. You're giving me 87% of the other 50%. Well, there's no solution Okay, forever. hold on, hold on. Yeah. But at the same time, well, do I wish 87%, 83, 97, whatever the goddamn number was that both sides took it? Yes, I wish they both took it. And I wish Israel made a better offer, and I wish the Palestinians took a bad offer. So that's I, the solution so, then. Yes, ex go. exactly. Right? But at this point, he, both Obama and Trump have said, Netanyahu doesn't want peace. He hasn't offered peace. He doesn't want peace. He wants permanent occupation. So for God's sake, no. fire Netanyahu. No, he wants another terrorist attack like that to not be possible of happening like that again that's what he wants I that's what i would want i would want to make sure that the area that was attacked by these terrorists on hand gliders and shit that that area would never be attacked ever again and if i have to conquer a hundred miles of territory from that point in order to stop terrorist forces from coming in i mean i would have to conquer some uh, and I would do that. Just IMO. Um, Sank is tripping. You want to negotiate with terrorists? That's like the number one thing you're supposed to not do is negotiate with terrorists. So uh, they're going to take this down. I'm sure of it because Sank lost his shit and um, you know, he's running for president. If it's a democracy, fire him. Because if you don't fire him, you're saying, yeah, I like what he's doing. I, we're going to occupy these poor people forever. Ultimately, it comes down to the Palestinian people to kick the terrorists out of their ranks and just be like, we're not about that. We see how bad this hurts us. And if you even talk some terrorist shit around here, the whole village will kill you. They will throw you out for being a terrorist because we don't want Israel coming over here and lighting up our whole village because you and three other idiots uh, went to some terrorist 
mosque or some shit. Uh, that's ultimately what needs to happen. The Palestinian people need to oust the terrorists themselves. Why aren't they fighting against Hamas if they are a separate entity and if they don't support them? Uh, sorry, Sank, but you just lose all the way around, bro. And that is why... I unsubbed a while ago. I'm just glad that this came along my feed and somebody finally uh, pretty much put Sank in his place about this because, bro, you are not looking good here, Mr. I'm running for president. Yeah, good luck with that. We have a strong history here in America of being anti-terrorist. We fought a war on terror. And you know what? We sure as hell are not going to condemn Israel for fighting a war on straight terror as well. So if you want to be the president of this country, you might want to think that through. Uh, anyway, I just wanted to get uh, my thoughts here. I, we are not political or religious on this channel. Uh, we are anti-terrorist, however. I don't even know if I'm going to put this up on the channel, but I wanted to record Sank's little meltdown here. Um, yeah, later, everybody. Hope you enjoyed. Ooh. And we need to charge the phone. Have an awesome night.